To make a water bottle rocket, you're going to need a bottle that is at least one liter or larger. I'm using a two liter pop bottle, which worked really well. You'll need two cups of water, uh, one cup of vinegar. This is just the cheapest white vinegar you can buy with some orange food coloring in it, and that'll just add to the effect of the launch a bit. You'll need a screw that's about, I think mine's about three inches long, and something solid that you can screw the screw into. I'm just using a short strip of wood here. You'll need a cork, and uh, to make my cork a little bigger, I've wrapped some duct tape around it and that'll just help it fit into the top of the bottle a little snugger. You'll need some paper towel and some baking soda, about two tablespoons of baking soda. The first thing you'll want to do is take your water and your vinegar and pour them into your bottle. Now keep in mind that if your bottle is bigger or smaller than two liters, you'll need to adjust the amounts of water and vinegar appropriately, but I found that for a two liter pop bottle, two cups of water and one cup of vinegar seems to work pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and pour these in here. And there you go, that's it. How cool does that look? So that's all we're gonna do with our bottle and now I'm gonna show you how to make your launch pad and your baking soda pack. So what we're gonna to need to do is make a packet of baking soda we can drop into our bottle when we're ready to launch it. To do this, take a half sheet of paper towel. It's about like uh, five inches across by like 11 or 12 inches long. Take about two tablespoons of baking soda. And again, if your bottle is bigger or smaller than the one I'm using, you might need to adjust this amount. And just dump it onto your paper towel and evenly distribute it along here and just fold in the ends like a burrito, like that. And then actually, maybe we'll just fold this over and then fold in our ends. And then you can just roll it up like that. And that'll work perfectly. So to make your launch pad, just take your screw and screw it into the piece of wood like this. And then take a cork, and you may need to wrap something around the cork. I've used some duct tape here, about two layers of it, just to make my cork a little bit bigger so it's a snugger fit in the top of the bottle, because you want it to be quite snug. And then just screw your cork onto your screw like this, and you'll have a decent little launch pad. Just like that. So now I'm going to go over to the park where there's lots of room and I'll show you how to launch this rocket. Alright, so I've got everything here on a nice sturdy foundation. And uh, if you've noticed here on the back of this water bottle, I've taped on a little keychain camera that I bought. So we'll get some nice onboard video. I'll actually start that up right now. Uh, there you go. That should be going now. And I balanced it out with some quarters on the back. So basically, to launch this thing, like I said, just uh, make sure it's on a nice sturdy foundation. Have our little launch pad just set up like that. Take your packet of baking soda, and you just want to make sure it's nicely, nice and tightly rolled up so it'll slip in the top of your bottle quickly. And we're just going to plop it in there like that. Just work it in there. And then before, before you let it go, get your launch pad ready. And here we go. And there it goes. Now it's going to be fizzing away. Just push it all the way down on a super tight connection like that. I'm going to run back here in the shade. Come on, don't go off yet. There we go. Any time now. Wow, that's high. Ouch. Sure hope my keychain camera's all right. All right, this is my second attempt. This time I'm gonna try and keep it in the shot the whole time. Uh, there's not much more to say. You won't see anything right now because I'm just gonna set it up. I've already, already shown you how to do that though. Come on. Anytime now. Whoa, there we go. Ouch. This is a few hours after I did those previous two launches, and uh, I thought I'd try another launch, this time without the keychain camera and the quarters strapped to the bottle, just to see if there's any difference whatsoever. So I'll set it up and uh, show you what happens. I'd say that's about the same as before. 